Hello everyone and welcome to a very short video on what I'll be doing about Extreme File System Basics. Now if you've never dealt with the file system before and you have no idea what you're doing, this video is probably for you. Uh, if you have, then you probably shouldn't need to watch this because this, this is basically the extremes, the extreme basics on uh, what the file system is and how to use it. So. Um, now everyone knows what the file system is. It's basically the system in which files are arranged on your computer. Uh, that That is like a very basic idea of it, basically. Uh, now GameMaker gives you a few functions to manipulate the file system to create files and, su and such. And over here I have a uh, Windows Explorer folder open, so that way you can see what this does. Now, uh, there are two different ways or at least two different popular ways of saving information to a file using GameMaker. One of the ways is using uh, INI files or any files. Uh, this is by far the easiest way to do this. Um, but anyways, and the other way is using data structures, similarly to INI files. Now, what is the difference? The difference here is that INI files write data to a file that is human readable. Now, what that means is, if I create the INI file using this, I basically just, uh, I basically created functions to create the files on left press and right press on my keyboard, but anyways. And then I, you see over here, this attributes.save file appears. Now if I go in here and edit this with Notepad++, you can see that I have created some of the data that uh, I used to save. So, if I just resize this here, we can go over this. As you can see, each of these sections uh, it describes basically what each of these things are. And these are all variables that I've created within the create event of each of these. So um, for the gold bar, as you can see, the value is $100, weight is one pound, and the color is gold. Up here for the diamond, the value is $2,500, the weight is 0 0.05 ounces, and the color is blue, so that's for the diamond. And then, of course, the skull is uh, valueless, weightless, and, you know, colorless. So, <laughs> um, so anyways, this is all uh, different information that describes each of these. Now, real quick, I'm going to go in here and I'll show you where I uh, put this information. So, I just have variables that contain the information within each of these. So, that's pretty much that. Now, uh, going back to the other thing here. Um, that it, this is basically an INI file. It's technically a save file in, in air quotes dot save, but if you were to create this as a dot INI file, then it will basically reveal itself as an INI file. Now, if I use the data structures, however, which is on right press, as you can see, it gave me three different uh, three different other files. Now, these files basically act the same as this file here. The difference is, if you use data structures, these are not human readable. So if I go ahead and open one of these, you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see that it prints a really long string that literally you cannot read. So uh, this string is readable by the computer, and it will tell basically the computer what the information within it is contained. So like. Uh, this will basically print out the same information as uh, as this, the skull here. It'll basically print out the exact same information, but as you can see, it's not human. It's not human readable. Like you can't read it. So uh, that's basically the difference between using those. Uh, I I don't know if there's a way to make human readable strings with uh, data structures or not, but um, I'm pretty sure there is. But anyways. That's the main difference between the two, and um, also other differences include the fact that data structures are much more versatile, like you can do a little bit more with them, etc. But uh, for ease of access, any files are actually a lot easier, and easier to learn and whatnot. So, now I'm probably going to be doing separate videos for both any files and data structures in the future, and how to use them and whatnot, so stay tuned for those. Other than that, this has been this video, but the differences between any files and data structures. So if you enjoyed watching, then please leave a like and comment down below because it does help me out. And subscribe for more content just like this. I think that's about it. See you all next time.